Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. And this month's soldering tip will be on how to repair solder mask damage. Now how does solder mask damage occur? It can occur in many different ways. One, removing conformal coating and you accidentally remove the solder mask from the areas. Another way, and one of the common ways that I see in BGA rework, is whenever they are using solder wick to remove the solder mask, instead of going straight up and straight down, they slide the solder wick all around and it damages the solder mask. Well today what we're going to be doing is showing you how to repair that using Best Incorporated's stencil on how to repair that. Now the stencil is 0 0.05 millimeters thick and we're going to be using a UV curing solder mask. Now what I recommend on the, everybody asks how long does it take to cure this? Follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to recure the solder mask. Okay? So let's get started, shall we? First thing you want to do as always is to clean the area, make sure it's nice and clean and does not have any contamination in the area. So what I'm gonna do is take a Kim wipe and some isopropyl alcohol and clean my area. Just like this. Now on this one, what is damage has occurred, we see some conductor runs that are missing some solder mask over here, but also we are missing the dog boning here. So what we're gonna do is repair all of this today. Okay, so let's begin. First off, I'm going to grab my stencil and I'm going to peel it away. Okay, now be very careful with this stencil and just peel it out of here, not causing any damage whatsoever. And now let's position it. I've got several areas I'm going to be working with, so let me zoom this out just a little bit here so we can see all the damaged area. I'm going to grab a hold of each corner. Position it. This is, I, I, is the harder part, is getting the good positioning on this. So just take your time. There's no reason to rush this. The damage has already been done to it. So just be very careful as you're positioning this. Place it. Look at all areas. Remember, you don't want to mask over your pad sites. So, and just squeeze it down, just like I'm doing. Pressing it down nice and firmly with your finger. Just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my... And I'm going to be using red so you can see the contrasting differences between the two. I'm going to grab my solder mask here, I'm going to dip into it, just like that. You don't need to go nuts on this. And come in here and squeeze it into it, nice and firmly into the holes, at a nice good 45 degree angle. Just like so. Clean off your squeegee. And come in here and be very careful as you're doing this. Remove the excess. And what I'm doing is wiping it into a Kim wipe. Now if you want to, to keep it from getting all over the place, all over your hands, you can actually use uh, gloves. I just prefer doing it this way. Squeed 
G just like that. Okay. Now you see some excess. All you got to do is come in here with a Kim wipe and wipe it right off the board. Okay, just like that. Be careful again. This stuff is really nasty and it gets all over the place. What you can do is also is with a little bit of uh, alcohol on a Kim wipe, just wipe the edges off. Now you can also, if you want to, just like when we've talked about doing uh, solder paste in our other videos, you can actually tape up the edges so it doesn't get all over the place either. So either way you want to do it. Now that we've got everything filled, everything looks fairly nice and even. And if you don't think it is, what you can do is just come in here and readjust it. Just like this, being very gentle as you're doing this. Okay, something like that. Now that we've got that all solder masked up, next thing I'm gonna do is go and take it and have it UV cured. Okay, so I'll be right back. Now that we've cured the solder mask under UV curing, the next thing we wanna do is remove the stencil. All you do is just grab a corner and just remove it just like this. There. Now that you've repaired the solder mask, you can take a look at it, inspect it. You can zoom in if you want, and we will on this one. Let me refocus a little bit. There we go. And just take around and take a quick little look at it. Make sure we put it back wherever it is it's supposed to be at, and it's over everything. Nice cure job. Nice amount. And now we have repaired our solder mask issues. Again, this is Norman Mir from Best Incorporated. And have a nice day. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.